This is David Johnson with a video on the MTHFR gene and its deficiency. That stands for methyl tetrahydrofolate reductase deficiency, and it is needed to convert folate into, which is vitamin B9, eventually into 5-methyl tetrahydrofolate. And 5-methyl tetrahydrofolate is very important in our bodies, and we'll talk about, about that. One of the things is that if we are deficient in that compound, it can result in uh, some mental depression, fatigue, and headaches. Remember, this is not medical advice. It's educational only. Consult your physician before taking anything. S-adenosylmethionine, or SAM, is a very important molecule. It's needed to make lots of uh, neurotransmitters and various other molecules lift us to the, to the left. Uh, there are about 40 different reactions that use it. You can see the methyl group is in, highlighted in yellow, and it's connected to a sulfur, has a positive charge, and it makes it a high-potential donor of those methyl groups. So S-adenosylmethionine, or SAM, is a very important molecule in our bodies. Homocysteine and homocysteinuria. Normally, homocysteine in red is made from methionine and, and the meta normal metabolism of methionine, and it eventually gets converted into succinyl CoA in the TCA cycle. It in, also can be used to uh, convert serine into cysteine using the sulfur group from the methionine or the homocysteine to do that. If you're missing the enzyme or have a defect in the enzyme cystothionine beta synthetase, you have a disease called homocysteinuria. And homocysteinuria results in high levels of homocysteine in our blood. And that can use, result in early atherosclerosis and cataracts uh, in quite young people. So it's a very important uh, disease to know a little bit about biochemistry and medicine. B, vitamin B6 or pyridoxal phosphate uh, or pyridoxine or which is the precursor of pyridoxal phosphate, is, uh, is a very important in this, in, in this process. And it's used by the two enzymes that are involved in the metabolism of homocysteine to uh, less dangerous compounds. So b vitamin B6 supplements can sometimes be used to uh, treat homocysteinuria and aid your cystothionine beta synthase enzyme. The other step is to convert homocysteine back into methionine, and that requires 5-methyl tetrahydrofolate, which we mentioned earlier, and it also requires vitamin B12, and vitamin B12, this is one of the two steps in our bodies where you use vitamin B12. Then once you remake methionine from that, you can use that to make s methionine, that requires ATP as well, and then that forms uh, the methyl group donor, and you can make epinephrine, norepinephrine, serotonin, uh, dopamine, melatonin, acetylcholine, very important molecules. Now, folate gets, gets, picks up methyl groups from glycine and serine, which are non-essential amino acids, and that makes N5, N10, methylene tetrahydrofolate, which is a very important molecule we'll talk about. And then it can, gets converted by the methyl tetrahydrofolate reductase to 5-methyl tetrahydrofolate. Folate. And then that's the enzyme which we, if we have a deficiency of that, that can reduce the amount of 5 methyl folate and lock up our uh, folate is N5, N10 methylene, and we don't have enough 5 methyl to recycle homocysteine back into methionine, can't make enough SAM, can't make enough neurotransmitters, and that's not a good thing. And you can bypass this by taking 5 methyl folate supplements. You can bypass this gene deficiency. You can also improve things by adding in your diet riboflavin, vitamin B2, B2, pyridoxine, vitamin B6, and B12, which is cobalamin. So taking adequate amounts of these other vitamins can improve the workings of what enzyme we have. Methyl, methyl trexate inhibits DNA synthesis. So uh, dihydrofolate or vitamin B9 is shown here, and it is converted by dihydrofolate reductase into tetrahydrofolate. And tetrahydrofolate picks up the methyl groups, as we talked about before, to make N5, N10 methylene tetrahydrofolate, those extra methyl groups shown in, in circled. And then 
N5, N10 methyl, uh, methylene tetrahydrofolate is used to convert deoxyuridine monophosphate into deoxythymidine monophosphate, which you need for, de for DNA synthesis. This is the structure of methotrexate, and methotrexate is an inhibitor of dihydrofolate reductase, and that's why it's a drug for your cancer, arthritis, psoriasis, and Crohn's disease. Now, Tetrahydrobiopterin is another important molecule in all this process. Phenylalanine uses or requires tetrahydrobiopterin, BH4. You, the enzyme is phenylalanine hydroxylase to make tyrosine. If that enzyme, phenylalanine hydroxylase, is deficient or BH4 is deficient, you wind up with a disease called phenylketonuria, which results in uh, low IQ, very low IQ. Tyrosine is then converted using tyrosine hydroxylase to DOPA. And DOPA is a neurotransmitter, a very important molecule as well. Tryptophan gets converted by tryptophan hydroxylase into serotonin, another important neurotransmitter, and it also uses BH4. In both process, all these processes, BH2 gets made, which is which it needs to be recycled into tetrahydrobiopterin, which is BH4. And that can be done by dihydroteridine reductase and dihydrofolate reductase. So both of these enzymes are important. And deficiencies in these recycling enzymes can also lower our BH4 levels and cause problems in the other direction of making these products that we need, such as dopa, serotonin, and tyrosine. Methylfolate stabilizes N5, N5 methyl tetrahydrofolate stabilizes and possibly substitutes for BH4. There's some indication that that's very useful. Now, this is going to recap the MTHFR gene deficiency and why methylfolate and SAM may help in depression. So remember, this enzyme is very important in making the N5 methyl tetrahydrofolate needed by methionine synthetase. Uh, B12 is required there to make uh, SAM and make that methyl group donor and reduce the amount of homocysteine in our bodies. And then methyl tetrahydrofolate reductase deficiency can cause a slow, slow that enzyme up. Some people have only half the amount they need and some people have almost none. So homocysteine is bad, and uh, methionine and SAM are good. And so taking 5-methylfolate uh, supplements can replace the, uh, the, the inability to make the 5-methylfolate from N5N10 methylene tetrahydrofolate. And also remember taking B2, B6, B12 Vitamins can also aid in this process, and that's why uh, sometimes uh, SAM's being used by in some uh, clinical studies to treat uh, depression. It's been shown to work fairly well. So there are a lot here, a number of uh, interesting publication, recent publications from 2010. The PMID number it can be used to find these papers in PubMed. So you can see here others, uh, very important ones, and we see several in 20, there's one in 2018, and then another one in 2009, and another one in 2017. Uh, Dr. Lisa Pan is uh, very important in do, doing some of this work. She's an MD and uh, at work, at working in uh, Pittsburgh, I believe. Closing thoughts, uh, it's a, we currently have a, uh, an epidemic of uh, measles in this country and in Europe. And so it's very important to get immunized, especially for measles and lots of other diseases. And immunizations are safer than aspirin, so get immunized, cheap and good protection from disease. Judging others makes us blind, whereas love is illuminating. By judging others, we blind ourselves to our own evil and deny others the grace to which they are just as entitled as we are. Dietrich Bonhoeffer. Remember, this is not medical advice. It's for educational only. Consult your physician before taking drugs or supplements.